Greetings, I'm Professor Hobo, and welcome to another Hobo Tech News Prod Review. The Jackery 2000 Pro released earlier this year now has an identical little brother, the Jackery 1000 Pro. With literally identical interfaces, the only difference seems to be the inverter and battery sizes. But is it any good? Let's find out. As for the battery inside the Jackery, nothing has changed there. It is a 1002 watt hour NMC lithium ion battery rated at 1000 cycles to 80% capacity. This means you can run a full cycle from dead to full every day for at least three straight years and still have 80% of the battery capacity left. It does not mean it becomes a boat anchor. As for size and weight, we're gonna go ahead and put those numbers down here at the bottom of the screen. As for the build, it's all ABS plastic all the way around with the typical Jackery rubberized feet and the new folding handle from the 2000 Pro. And it also sports the same high quality color display identical to the one in the 2000 Pro. It shows input-output watts, time to charge-discharge, battery percentage with spinning icon, as well as various other indicators. As for the inverter size, it is a 1000 watt pure sign inverter with three 20 amp three prong outlets. As for ways to charge, there are three with this Jackery. It of course has a built-in AC wall charger, just like the Jackery 2000 Pro. You go to the back, you have a regular plug inside and this really cool bright orange cable, which you can never lose in the grass, which is kind of nice. You just plug this in, plug it into the wall, and it has a built-in 800 watt AC charger. And that means with a 1002 watt hour battery, it can charge from dead to full in just under two hours. And that takes us to method two, which is the standard 12 volt cigarette lighter outlet in your vehicle. Now this way to charge is limited to eight amps, so it does take 10 hours from dead to full. However, you can actually purchase a second one of these cables and plug it into the input in the back because this actually has two inputs on the back. So you can plug in two of these into the back and half that charge rate. So you can charge this from dead to full from a 12 volt vehicle, assuming you have two cigarette lighters in about five hours. That's pretty darn fast for cigarette lighter charging. And the third and final way to charge is of course by solar, otherwise you couldn't call this a solar generator, and that's what Jackery calls it. I didn't call it a solar generator, I didn't come up with the term, Jackery calls it a solar generator. Now here's the thing with Jackery, they don't want you to use anything except Jackery solar panels. And while you can use other panels, they make it extremely difficult. So what they have on the back is a pair of what's called 8020 barrel plug input. So it's an eight millimeter input with a thicker pin than you'd normally get on a 7909, which is the standard barrel plug input on a lot of these power stations. Jackery has to be different, so they have an 8020. Now what they do include are a pair of these adapters. So these are 8020 to 7909s. I know that sounds confusing and complicated, but all that is is the pin size. This is what I call a thick pin to thin pin adapter. So while they don't include any kind of MC4 adapter or any kind of adapter in any kind, they do give you a pair of these so that you can run their own panels, purchased separately, of course. You can get this in a bundle with their solar panels, which includes this and a bunch of adapter boxes. Anyway, what is great about the Jackery 1000 Pro is that these are 400 watts each. So this has two separate MPPT solar controllers in it, meaning you can put 400 watts of panels on one side and 400 watts of solar panels on the other side. Now, if you do that with all their special boxes and adapters and you put 800 watts of solar into this, you can charge this in under two hours with solar. That's incredibly fast. As for 12 volt outputs, the Jackery only offers a single 12 volt 10 amp cigarette lighter output. It is, however, regulated at 13.4 volts. As for USB output types, it offers an identical configuration to its bigger 2000 watt hour brother. You have a pair of 100 watt USB-C power delivery outputs and a pair of 18 watt USB-A quick charge ports. As for other features, this Jackery does have an optional user configurable low power mode that will turn off the device after 12 hours under certain load conditions. You can enable or disable this feature by long pressing the AC power button for a certain period of time. All the details about what it does, how to turn it on and off, are in the included user manual. As for the warranty, Jackery does offer a default three-year manufacturer's warranty, which can be extended to five years 
as long as you buy this product from their official Jackery web store and register your product. And of course, I took the Jackery 1000 Pro into my secret laboratory here where I performed all kinds of crazy experiments on it, including, yes, a double-fisted battery capacity test. As for the results of the DC battery capacity test, it scored 822 watt hours out of 1,002, or a respectable 82%, and is two points higher than the Jackery 2000 Pro. As for the AC battery capacity test results, it scored 870 watt hours out of 1,002, or 87%, which is actually above average for the industry, an identical result to the bigger Jackery 2000 Pro. Note that the DC consumption is higher than AC due to the DC output regulation circuitry. They use special circuitry in these power stations nowadays, which consumes some power to regulate to a certain voltage, in this case, 13.4 volts. Now I'm gonna try something a little different with this video. In order to keep it as short as possible, I'm gonna skip showing you all the testing that I've done on this. Now I've done all the testing I normally do, and I recorded all of it, but I'm not gonna show it in this video just to save time. If you really wanna see the step-by-step -step testing I did for this, go ahead and put in the comments of this video that yes, I do wanna see the testing. And if I get enough people interested, I will take that footage and make a separate video of it. However, I will put the results of the test over here on this side of the screen. So you can see here, these are the results of the various tests that I do. However, there are a few things I do wanna show you about this model that I found in my testing, and here they are. Now, what about simultaneous charging? Can you charge this from AC and solar at the same time for a combined faster charge rate? Well, currently I have both solar and AC wall plugged at the same time, but it is not charging any faster. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and turn the solar part off. There we go, we're now at 750 watts of wall charging. Let's go ahead and turn the solar back on and see what happens. Okay, there we are, we're at 800, 900. It's thinking about it, but it's not really doubling up my speed. That means we apply a load. If I apply a load on the inverter, will that allow us to charge faster than 800 watts? There we go, we got a maximum load on the inverter. The input is not changing. Nope, there is no change in the input. I do have simulated solar and AC wall plugged in at the same time. Let me unplug the wall. See the icon disappeared and it is still inputting 725 watts. So I know what's going on here. So the Jackery 1000 Pro does support simultaneous charging from both AC and DC sources, but not in the way you think. You would think 800 from the wall plus 800 from the solar would give you 1600 watts of charging. Well, Jackery doesn't allow you to do that. They do allow you to put 800 watts in from solar and 800 watts in from AC at the same time, but it favors solar. Basically, it says in the manual, in order to have a greener planet and all that, you could actually plug both in at the same time and it favors the solar input. So as long as you got solar coming in, it's going to ignore the AC wall input and charge with solar. When solar disappears, say the sun goes down, then it will charge from AC wall power. So you can have them both plugged in and it will both charge, but not combined. It's not going to combine 800 watts from solar with 800 from the wall. It's gonna give you 800 total from either or source. So that's how simultaneous charging works on this model of Jackery. Now here's something I find very interesting. Nowhere, anywhere in the Jackery user manual or the product page for the 1000 Pro, does it mention anywhere that it has a UPS feature? Not only does it have a UPS feature, it's actually a pretty good UPS feature. I just tried it out myself because I wasn't even sure. I'm like, it has an internal charger. It says in the manual that it does support pass-through charging without damaging the battery. And I'm like, hmm, 
The only way you can do pass-through charging without damaging the battery is by having a UPS feature or UPS relay. So this actually does have an offline UPS. Now, there is a limitation to it. Because the charger in the Jackery Pro 1000 only supports 800 watts of AC charging, that's the maximum amount of battery charging you'll ever get no matter what you do. However, this has a 1000 watt inverter. 1000 watts plus 800 is 1800 watts. That's pretty much the limit you can pull from a standard 15 amp outlet in your home. And Jackery knows this. So what they did is they basically designed an offline UPS that will allow you to pull up to 1800 watts from here so you can run a thousand watt appliance through the inverter while at the same time charging it 800 watts from the wall to charge the internal battery. So let me go ahead and demonstrate this. This works just like all the other offline UPSs that I've showed you about from Blue Eddy and EcoFlow and all the other ones that are now doing these UPS relays inside. You can actually hear the click. That's how you know it's an offline UPS because if you actually turn on the inverter, plug it in and you hear that click, it's switching over from battery to wall power. There's a physical switch in there that switches off the battery to the wall and back again. Okay, first of all, I got this heater hooked up. You guys have seen this a million times. I have a heater hooked up with a light. We're gonna show you how fast it switches over to UPS mode. I have this meter up here, which is going to show us how many watts are coming into the Jackery. So let's go ahead and put it on watts. Okay, you can see there it says 752 watts and very close, 770 watts there. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the wall power off. Watch the light. Three, two, one. Okay, I can actually see it blink, but it's very quick. Let's go ahead and turn the power back on. Okay, let's do it again. Three, two, one. It's a very, very fast blink. Okay, we've now established this has a really good UPS really in it. Why are they not marketing this UPS feature? I just have no idea. You can see it switches over so fast the camera's not catching it. Now my naked eye, it looks like it's less than five milliseconds. It's only a couple of milliseconds switch over. The camera, to me, doesn't look like it's even catching it at all. It's that fast. So. This is sensitive enough for personal computers. So again, good UPS. Now let me show you the limitation though. Now for this, I'm gonna go ahead and put the heater actually on so it's generating heat. Okay, you can see right there, it says 1500 watts and climbing. Now below, you can see it says 750 watts coming in and 776 watts going out for a combined total of 1550 watts. So what's actually happening right here? Well, 750 watts are coming in to charge the battery and 773 watts are going out to this heater, which I have on low. Now watch what happens if I turn this heater on high and I go past the inverter limit of 1000 watts. You can see now the inverter is starting to output more than it can typically support and that's not gonna last for very long. You could see the amount of charge going into the battery is dropping, but the amount up here is about the same, 1700 or so watts. Now, because this is actually outputting more than it supports, it just errored out. You can see there, we actually get an error message. It's really hard to see, it says F6. But what I find interesting is that there are no signs whatsoever that UPS is engaged on this. It's just an automatic feature, but there's nothing on the screen that says UPS, a new icon that shows up that shows you're in UPS mode. It's all quite baffling because you think a feature this important, which requires extra parts and expense, would be mentioned somewhere, but nowhere could I find do they mention this UPS feature. It's like a bonus hidden Easter egg that I had to find out for myself pass on to you guys. That does add value to the Jackery. Musicians favorite. This is the amp interference test where I plug in this little power amp and determine, is the power coming out of this clean or noisy? Does it affect power amps? Can you rock out your band on stage using one of these Jackery 1000 Pros? It can certainly put out enough power to power most power amps. That's a lot of power in one sentence. But the key is, is it clean power? Now, surprisingly, the Jackery 2000 Pro, the big brother to this, failed this test. So place your bets. I have not tried this yet. I'm guessing it's not gonna pass because the big brother didn't pass, but 
You never know. So place your bets. Go ahead and throw it in the comments. Give you guys two seconds to type it in and hit submit before I turn on the power. Because so all I got to do is hit the power button on the inverter. It sends power to the amp. All the knobs are turned up. Nothing else is plugged in. I do have one of these silly little uh, noise suppressors on the cord. It doesn't do anything because everybody insisted I do that. I'll tell you right now, it's the inverter making the noise. It has nothing to do with the setup or the cord or how far away it is or other interference in the room. All this stuff has been tested for years. All right, ready? Three, two, one. <gasps> what a surprise. It's actually quiet. Now, why did the Jackery 1000 Pro pass this test, but the 2000 Pro did not? I understand the inverter is different, but maybe they fixed it from the original 2000 Pro test that I did, which was several months ago. Maybe they saw the feedback they got about that failing and they put a little more effort into the 1000 Pro inverter to make it clean. Let's listen again. It's clean. There is no buzz, no hum. So yes, you can actually use the Jackery to rock out in your band, play on a PA system, use it for ham radio. It's clean. Wow, that even surprised me. Okay, and there is one final test I have yet to perform, and some of you have been waiting for this for a long time because I finally got a power station with a light. So anyway, does the Jackery 1000 Pro have our special light to call down our little buddies upstairs. Let's place our bets. Now we all know how this is gonna work out, so let's just go ahead and cue the music and get this over with. Press number one. Press number two. Ready? Press number three. Oh yeah! All right, let's flag down our little buddies upstairs. Wow, we haven't got to do this in a long time. They're gonna miss us, miss us dearly up there. I hope they remember how to get back down here. Oh yeah, all right, hey, there you guys are. Welcome back. Please take me with you. I'm tired of doing these solar generator reviews. Please take me with you. So yes, of course, it has the SOS light. So you can use this every year on World UFO Day to flag down our little buddies upstairs. So what do I like about the Jackery 1000 Pro? Well, I do like the fact that Jackery has been listening and they decided to meet the rest of us in the year 2022 with dual 100 watt power delivery ports, a pair of actual quick charge ports, a really nice solid inverter, a built-in battery charger, and 800 watt solar charging that actually rivals the competition. Oh, and let's not forget about that secret UPS feature that they mysteriously, for some reason, don't mention anywhere on their marketing. And let's hope we actually see the full range of Jackery products in the future get all of these updates. Now, there's really not much else to say. It's a carbon copy of the bigger 2000 Pro. That's not really a bad thing. Well, except that this passed the amp interference test when the 2000 failed. I'm a bit confused by that result, but also pleasantly surprised. So that takes me to the things I don't like about the 1000 Pro, and this is gonna be old hat. Some of you are gonna be tired of my complaining about this. Yes, I do not like the 8020 inputs on the back. Jackery uses these on purpose because they want you to use their solar panels and no one else's. Now, I wish Jackery would just join the club and use standard MC4 or Anderson PowerPole for their panels. Then we don't need those weird proprietary little plastic boxes they sell. Now, is there a way to use your own non-Jackery panels with a Jackery? Yes. You can go to hobotech.tv slash Amazon, click on solar adapters, and get an MC4 to eight millimeter adapter and the 7909 to 8020 pin adapter, which I showed you earlier, and use whatever panel you like. It's not a great solution, but it is a solution. Fortunately, these inputs do support up to 60 volts each, so it does allow you to put a couple panels in series on each one of these legs, and you could pretty easily max out the solar with a set of 200 watt panels. Now that takes us to product price. 
The 1000 Pro actually launched more than a week ago, somewhat quietly at the retail price of $1099. Now, I refused to release this video until I got a discount from them for my viewers. They were not going to give me a discount. They finally gave me a 10% off code, which goes into effect the day this video airs. It's only for the 1000 Pro and I'm gonna put that in the description of this video. Now, I do also have a blanket discount code that works across the board for all other Jackery products, and I'll also put that code with the link down in the description of this video. So if you're looking for something other than the Jackery 1000 Pro, you'll still get a discount just for watching. Note that these codes only work on the official Jackery store page using the links below in the description. So if you're interested in the Jackery 1000 Pro or any of the other Jackeries for that matter, the information is in the description of this video. I'm also gonna put a link right here at the bottom of the screen. You can type in along with a QR code over here. You can scan on your mobile device and it'll take you over to the Jackery store page where you can check out the new 1000 Pro. Thanks for watching. If you learned something today, don't forget to give me that thumbs up below. And if you're not a subscriber already, you know what to do. That's it for now. Till next time. Odin commands you to like and subscribe and clean my litter box. If your search for a soldier is a pain in the neck, go to YouTube and watch Hobo Tech, cause he's the best in this, and he's a probing that. He's even been probing, holding his cat. If you want to get all the soldiers back, go to Hobo Tech. Yeah! RV Golf Guy, Von Rob, Brian Lieber, John Stacey, Soroka, Dr. Steve Eisenhower.